Aloha, so I'm doing this video while I'm walking to the mailbox, which is half a mile from <laughs> uh, the, uh, the main house here where I, my trailer is parked. Um, so if you're new to my YouTube channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, sorry, I just uh, will have to refer you to look at my intro to my channel and look at older videos but basically I've been working and living on this small farm and today I am going to be moving on to another place temporarily possibly uh, another farm technically but it's more of a homestead because they don't actually sell any of the produce that they grow. Um, it's more for their own consumption and then they share any surplus they have with friends. So anyway, so I just wanted to give you an update. Sorry about breathing heavy because I'm trying to walk as quickly as possible because I need to pack up and get going. But um, I'm walking to the mailbox because I got to forward any mail that might come here. I didn't have a lot of mail coming here, but um, a friend was sending me something and I thought it would be here by now, but anyway, so technical details of uh, and not having your own permanent place to live yet. So, um, so what led me to decide to move now is that uh, my need for structure has become a lot more evident lately uh, because I was told that I am working too slow, which <laughs> I am very careful and thorough about doing things. And if People don't tell me constantly that things need to be done a certain way, then I kind of tend to do them my own way and because I want to do a thorough job and sometimes thorough is not needed. So anyway, um, and you know, the farmer here has been talking about wanting to build an intentional community and you know, he has all these like, you know, great ideas and a vision for what he wants but yeah, over the last three months we've done a lot of talking but not a lot of doing and I've tried a little bit to do on my own and and um, you know had some talks with him about well you really should like cut down on how many crops you're growing and how many plants you have in a nursery so that yeah, you have more time to work on building the structure for an intentional community but uh, he can't seem to do that <laughs> um, so and there's only you know one other well sort of two other people that are um, you know part of the community besides me and and there's just not a lot of agreement on about how to go about building this intentional communities and I, yeah, I'm the new person so I can't do it on my own um, so I realize you know I just need to go to a community where they've already got structure in place and I can just become part of that oh sorry about the lighting I can just become a part of what they've already established that is already working for them it may not be perfect but you know at least somewhat um, established and they've worked the bugs out because yeah I need consistency and structure in my life I need to do less thinking and decision making uh, because of my autistic tendencies I just do better when I'm following somebody else's lead instead of me trying to be independent and autonomous. 
Um, so anyway, so I'm going to uh, be leaving here hopefully in a few hours. Um, I'm only going an hour north, so I don't have to travel very far. And I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to find a community in the Florida area, hopefully uh, not too far from where I'll be. So, um, because now that I, you know, no longer have my dogs, I have more options because I, I had contacted several places before and was denied because of my dog. So, so I believe everything happens for a reason and now God has, you know, opened this door for me, although I had to close the door on my dogs. So, so anyway, that's, oh, almost tripped over a rock. <laughs> uh, that's where I'm at. So, uh, so please pray for me in uh, God giving me guidance and wisdom uh, on what I do today in terms of preparing my trailer, making sure I have it all hooked up properly and driving safely. And, uh, and then in the coming week to uh, research communities and places that make sense for me permanently, or at least for the next five to 10 years. Um, really nothing is permanent because you know, I don't, I'm not gonna live forever. So my permanent home is in heaven. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. So anyway, until then I might live another 40 years, I guess. So, so thank you for watching and listening and your encouragement and, oh, and, you know, I got some, like, weird comments lately, so, yeah, if you don't agree with something that I say, then that's fine, but please explain yourself. Don't just say, well, that's stupid. It's like, well, what is stupid? I said a lot of things, you know? <laughs> I like to have a conversation, not people just blurting out stuff, because, I mean, to me, like, that's a waste of time. Like, why make a comment if it's not even going to make sense? I mean, I guess it makes you feel better about yourself, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a positive engagement with the comments, okay? So mahalo and have a blessed day.